Today I want to tell you the three biggest mistakes I see beginning software developers make. So if you're looking to get in the software development field, if you're just starting out, listen up because these are the ones that really screw you up and, uh, and cost you the most amount of time and money. So the first one is that I see so many software developers that are starting out that try to learn a whole bunch of different technologies. They're trying to learn JavaScript and Python and C and C++ and they're just watching all these courses and they're, they're learning this database technology and that database technology and they're getting Angular experience and React and all of this stuff, right? Do not do that. I know you wanna know a lot of stuff. I know it's interesting to you. I know you feel like you need to understand all this stuff, but really all you need is one stack. You just need one programming language that you can work in that's your primary one. You need to know one technology for developing front end, one database, and that's it. Whatever the stack is, focusing on that. You, in fact, you don't even need to. If you just focus on a programming language, that is sufficient. But I would recommend having some kind of stack so that you sort of have the end-to-end -end experience in, in doing that. Don't learn 15 different things. Don't learn stuff you're not gonna use. Just look at job descriptions and find some job descriptions for what technologies they're using and learn those specific technology stack that they're using. Don't worry about all the other stuff. If you want to switch and do other stuff and learn that stuff later, that's fine, but stick to one main programming language that do not overwhelm yourself with technology. You just need to be able to build something. One of the best ways to test this is just to create a simple project for yourself, an existing application that exists already, for example, a mobile app or something like that, or a web app, a simple to-do list, and see if you can create that application from start to finish. Learn everything you need to do that, technology-wise, and nothing else, and that is what you need to focus on and go deep on. I can't stress this enough. The second one that I see is I see developers that take too long to actually jump into the job market and start interviewing for jobs. You might not pass your first interviews. You might not think you're ready, but you're ready. You need to jump in before you're ready because that is gonna tell you what you need to do. Because maybe if you bomb an interview, it's fine. Don't worry, there's so many jobs, so many interviews out there, but start getting interviews and getting experience so you can bomb it and you can learn what it is that you need to know. Take notes after the interview and say, hey, this is what I need to work on. That's the fastest way, right, to, to get there. You're never gonna know everything. And interviews aren't as hard as what you think. A lot of companies hire developers that they shouldn't be hiring, frankly, that don't have the experience yet, but it's fine. Because a lot of times, one of the biggest things is that it's the proprietary systems. It is the domain knowledge that is, is different in the business, and you can't know that stuff ahead of time, so you're gonna have to learn all that stuff anyway. So all they wanna do is really check, at least good companies, that you can program, that you understand that you can solve problems and you can learn things quickly. If you can do that, that's, that's all you need to do. You don't need to have all the stuff and be a master of everything. Now there are hard interviews, there are you know coding interviews that you have to prepare for, use stuff like lead code, but in general, just start going to interviews and bombing them if you have to so you can learn what you're missing so you can actually learn that stuff. I, I hear so many developers spend years trying to learn all this stuff before they even start applying for jobs. No, just start doing it now, all right? And then the third one I'll tell you here is that I see developers that are taking way too low level entry level jobs or trying to get in by doing testing or something like that. <clears throat> you just get a regular job. Do not go for entry level job, do not go for junior developer. Junior developer, you should just bypass. That is not necessary. You might say, well, I need to get some experience. If you got a junior developer job, which those are harder to get, by the way, because there's more competition for them, and then what I would say is that you're staying there for a maximum of six months and then you find another job, just to get that on your resume. But don't even do that. Instead, I'll tell you what to do. Build a portfolio. Start building some applications that you've actually created yourself and, and create your own company and put an app in the app store and sell it. It doesn't even have to sell anything, but now you work for a company. You can make your own company. There's nothing illegal about this. There's nothing shady about this. You can create your own company. I have my own company. I work for my own company. I have experience. You can gain experience that way. Don't get it by getting a junior developer job. That's silly. Anyway, hopefully those three tips help you. If you haven't already checked out my book, uh, The Complete Software Developer Career Guide, definitely check out that book. You can find a link in the description actually here, or you go to simpleprogramming.com. I also have a lot of courses on software development, but the, the best place to start is either that book or Soft Skills, Software Developer's Life Manual. I think you'll find a huge amount of value from both of those books. They're, they're top rated books and they're huge. So, all right guys, talk to you next time.